Hey guys, Sony Soy Sasa Sasa, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. I don't know why I'm reviewing this again, but apparently it's different. Today we are doing the My Father's 10th year anniversary, uh, Flor de Antilles, uh, Toro. So, uh, Eric sent me this, this one. Apparently it's different, uh, than the regular Flor de Las Antilles. So, Let's take a look at the cigar. So this cigar is set at MSRP $40 a cigar compared to regular production six to eight dollar ish um, range depends on the size. Um, the wrapper is Nicaraguan, the binder is Nicaraguan, and the filler is also Nicaraguan. The size is six and a half by 52 Toro Extra and it was released January 2023. So as you can see this is like really gritty, really rough uh, leaf apparently it's supposed to be like the same kind of stuff but different uh, like same seed different kind of leaf i don't know you can see there's a little bit damage at the end too so hopefully that doesn't bother me uh smoking this so on the look of it it's a little bit more decked out right and we'll, we'll see we'll see what that brings me uh but you know you know those real Nice box though. Another box shoved away. Eventually, this thing is gonna kill me. All right, so I'm cut a little bit away because I'm coughing. So still coughing. It's got a recovery, part of recovery. That's fine. Oh my god! All right, the foot smells like wood and leather and coffee. The side smells like fud, like really stinky fud. Really stinky fud. Okay. Cut is not too, okay. There is one leaf that can come off. Okay, that's okay. I got a second cap. Okay, draw is good. I just I don't see if it leaks. I can't tell. It's like mushroom and wood. Mushroom and wood. A little bit leathery too. Can't tell. That one's running out. Let's grab another one that's not run out. Oh, this one looks good. Ooh. Hey, Bonyar Cedar. Uh, 
there is a little bit of saltiness to it. Pepper. Some sweetness at the nose, but there's a lot of pepper. There's also some mineral that carries a, just a little bit of bitterness to it. Yeah, mmm. All right, let me smoke one third. We'll be right back. Okay, so second third. Um, the pepper somewhat died down a little bit. But it has converted to a more hay, lemongrass, berry sweetness kind of note. It's a, it's all that note, but a little bit more woodsy tone of uh, of taste. So think about that, but then tend to be a little bit woodsy on all of those. And a little bit of vanilla in the very beginning. Like if you take a large puff, you'll get that vanilla at the very beginning. But larger puff also means a little bit more pepper that kills that flavor a little bit longer or faster. So that's what I get right now. Um, it's not a bad cigar, but I don't see $40 in here. Right now, I probably see like um, with that box, with that coffin. Maybe $16. $16 to $18 range at best. At best. Sixteen to eighteen. I can't get to forty. There's no way this thing's forty. Tastes good, but it's not forty. And it's not. It's not that much different than a regular Flor de Las Antillas. It's not that much better. It's better. It's not that much better. Yeah, and the the flavor doesn't linger that long either. So, but draw everything else has no problem. Burn has no not really a problem either. So, last third. Let's finish it up. Um, only difference is this band, really. Right? It's this band. Uh, this band, they just added the bottom 10th year anniversary. Or 10th anniversary on the bottom. This this thing. Right here. Right here. That's it. So, regular band looks like that, right? And it just added that. So, there's not huge difference in design, but... I think it's pretty good because coherent is is the same design. It's not falling out of the design. You can see that they're celebrating the same thing but longer, more. I think everything else is the same. Still like weird people on there. Yeah, they all the same. They all the same. Laster, be right back. All right, so Laster, Laster, the flavor doesn't die all that much. It's actually surprising. It's actually I think for me more pleasant, right? The pepper kind of settled down. Vanilla is a little bit more in the forefront. There's a little bit of cashew nuts, um, a little bit of fruitiness, uh, a little bit of sweetness. So overall, it's tasty. It has that lemongrass thing, which I don't particularly think fits the cigar. But it's not a bad cigar. But it's not a forty dollar cigar, right? It's a. Uh, I think I'm gonna land where eighteen dollar, eighteen dollars where I can be comfortable for this cigar. So, yeah, I can't go any higher. Like, it's like can I? Would I pay nineteen? No, I wouldn't. So that will be the price for this cigar. Is it good? Yeah, but should you go out and and absolutely dish out forty dollar compared to an eight, nine, ten dollar cigar? No. I don't think so. I think that you gotta get probably the same kind of level of experience with the regular version than this cigar. The only reason you buy it is to collect that coffin or whatever. I, I can't see any other reason that this one B 
beats all the other that much to have four times the price. It doesn't make sense. So, yeah, and that will be it for this particular review. Big thanks to Eric. Go splurge forty dollar for this cigar <laughs> and send it to me, because uh, I wouldn't have otherwise bought it. I I, I think that the mix no that didn't didn't make that much difference uh, in terms of a visual impact either. So, yeah, eighteen dollars here it is. All right. So thanks for uh, thanks to Eric for sending me this cigar. And if you like this review, make sure to like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, as usual, we got swag, we got podcasts, we got membership. Do what you need to do. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.